Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's weekly roundup. I have a long list, but I want to start with roads first. So first things first, Air Park Drive. The lines are painted and that street is complete. So that has been a two year project. We did one half one here, one half this year. Um, but I'm excited to see that that project is complete. So if you live in that area or you go to those businesses, you should have a much nicer surface to drive on. On East Main Street, so this is the work over by Riverside Middle School. Our work on the retaining wall is continuing. We now have additional block in place, and so that work will continue. Um, we're trying to be cognizant of kind of the school traffic hours, so we're starting later on that project than we traditionally would, and we're closing it up a little bit earlier than we traditionally would, um, but that is important for the flow of traffic in that area. We intend to have that finished up in a few weeks and then pour the sidewalk later this month. Dayton Street is also complete, except for the railroad crossing pavement markings, and that should happen early next week. Um, so if you are again driving in that area, that has uh, been a nice project to have complete, I'm sure. Um, but again, just excited to have a safer intersection and a more um, improved street surface. And then just an update on downtown. I've been trying to provide one each time we do a weekly roundup. We are planning to do the milling and overlaying of uh, Main Street, so kind of through the downtown. Uh, at the end of September, so that is yet to come. Uh, next week, we have a ton of city meetings. There's Police and Fire Commission, Site Plan, Plan Commission, Finance Committee, Licensing Board, and more. I, I'm not even remembering all of them. But the reason I'm sharing that with you is not only do we want you to check those meetings out, but we now have a new platform for you to be even more informed about what's happening in those meetings. So you're still gonna have the same kind of user experience. You're gonna go to the website, click on the one of the circles that has meeting uh, and minute information, and then it's gonna take you um, to a system called Municode. And in that you'll see all of our meetings, which you could have seen before, all the agendas, which you would have seen before. But now what's gonna be right there in one click are the packets for each of those meetings. And then eventually post meeting, the minutes of those meetings will be there as well. Let me stop that phone call. Um, it happens every once in a while. Uh, so I would encourage you, if you're interested in our city boards and committee meetings, to um, go to the city website and become familiar with that new interface. Um, we also have had a big week kind of on the development front here. Projects we can't quite talk publicly about yet, but I'm super excited about large developments that are happening um, on the south side of the city and on the west side of the city. I was able to check out um, and tour a new business this week. Um, they are a provider of mental health care in the community, which is a tremendous need for us here. Um, it's just an exciting time. We've been in this really incredible phase of momentum, and I'm sharing with you that it's not slowing down. The, the snowball is getting bigger, which is great, um, and business development and retention is continuing to take up a lot of our time here at City Hall. On the town square front, as you can see, the work is continuing downtown. We are planning, again, that grand opening for October 29th. We're doing that in conjunction with Pumpkin Palooza. So at the town square site, we will have music, we'll have some community theater, um, some activities for kids, hopefully like balloon twisting. Um, there will be a beer garden, um, some food vendors, and then obviously we'll participate in the trick or treat as well. So please pencil in the 29th. Uh, there is some new information this week on COVID boosters. So if um, this is of interest to you, please check out our Facebook page. And if you're not on Facebook, please go to the DHS website and you'll get some information on that updated uh, COVID booster vaccine. We are starting hydrant flushing next week. So next week from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., we're gonna be flushing hydrants throughout the city. We would encourage you not to do laundry during these times of day. Um, if you're looking for more information on why we do hydrant flushing and kind of what you should do as a consumer, um, go ahead and go to our Facebook page and you'll see a link that goes right to our city website that has some frequently asked questions that will be helpful with hydrant flushing. Next week, uh, we're also doing clean sweep. So this is the time of year that you can recycle your chemicals, your fuel, your light bulbs, batteries. Um, for a complete list that's of components that are accepted, please click the link that's in the post on our Facebook page. That'll take you to a good informational website. And you do have to call to register. So if you're planning on attending, please call and get yourself registered. It's on September 16th from 3 to 5.30 and September 17th from 8 to 10 a.m. I have two volunteer opportunities to share, and the first is protecting our waterways. So it is time, as we've been doing in the past few years, to clean up the Rock River. So on September 17th in the morning, um, we are going to be participating in a cleanup event for the Rock River down at Riverside Park. Uh, you can register for that right on our Facebook page. And then we are also having um, our annual Donut Dash. This is the 5K run walk that is um, organized by the police department and benefits domestic violence providers in the area. Um, they are looking for both obviously runners and walkers so please register if you're of interest uh, if that's of interest to you 
but also volunteers. So this would be a great event to volunteer with your family or your friends or by yourself. Um, so please go to the Facebook page for more information on how you can register for the event or register to volunteer. On the recreation front, I uh, just wanted to highlight a couple of offerings. We obviously have yoga that I've talked about before, but we are now offering an evening time as well. Uh, Zumba and Pound are there for you to register for. And we did start registration for swimming lessons this week, which is always a popular one. So check out Rec Desk for more information on how to register. On the job front, uh, we have Crossing Guard opening, which we always need both people who are willing to do it every day and substitutes. Library assistant part-time, uh, recreation programming for the fall part-time. And then on the full-time front, firefighter paramedics, um, a solid waste worker, and then also um, our strategic initiatives and development coordinator. So the person who helps me doing economic development, that is posted for the week. Um, and then we will be posting a zoning administrator um, probably next week as well. All right, before I get to the weekend, I just want to remind us, um, we've had some bad accidents this week and um, our prayers go out to the people that are involved in those and we're hoping that everyone heals both mentally and physically from those accidents. But I just wanted to issue a reminder to please slow down. I know I'm guilty of this even myself with this week and last couple of weeks of going back to work, uh, going back to work, going back to school, um, that everything seems to be kind of happening quickly. So I would just encourage us all to take a breath when we're in our vehicles and just remember the responsibility we carry when we are driving um, a vehicle. And please be mindful of um, whether it's motorcyclists, pedestrians, bicyclists, people running, we just have to look twice. That's the message that we wanna to share today is when you're in your vehicle, please just look twice. I remember being taught left, right, left. Um, so please just make sure that you're paying extra attention on the roadway um, and watching for um, those people who may not be in a, a vehicle, perhaps a motorcycle, a moped, bike, whatever it may be. We have had questions about the intersection by Church, uh, Church Street and um, Air Park Drive, so by Walmart in particular. And I, I wanna be very um, transparent this, this is not our section of road, um, it's, it's technically the towns. However, we've had a conversation, at least in my time, multiple times working collaboratively with the town to see what we can try to do uh, to improve that intersection. Just yesterday, we were um, in a conversation with the Department of Transportation, uh, with our, our Senator, Senator Jagler. So we are working collaboratively through multi-levels of government to see what is possible financially and efficiently uh, to make some improvements to that intersection. So for this weekend, um, on Sunday, we have two important events. The most important is the 9-11 ceremony at Arrow Park. So this is at 11 a.m. Everyone is invited to attend. Uh, it'll be a brief ceremony um, honoring um, those uh, who lost their lives and who paid the ultimate price and who um, were in service that day on 9-11. They typically do um, a roll call of all those organizations. So I would encourage you to come. It's at 11 a.m. on Sunday at um, the Marine Corps League Arrow Park. Uh, another event for that day, once you're done there, you can hop over or maybe right before the event, go to the airport. It is Community Airport Day. Um, they're doing a pancake breakfast for $8 from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and then $30 airplane rides. I think there's drone demonstrations. Uh, we always try to attend. It's just a nice morning at the airport. If those aren't of interest to you, please check out Watertown Tourism. They have a wonderful post like they do each month of all the activities happening in the city. Um, and if that isn't of interest, just get out into the community, enjoy our parks and recreation, visit our businesses throughout the community, check out some of the new murals that are happening downtown. Uh, there's something for everybody. So have a good weekend, everybody. We'll see you back next week.